can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes! Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. I'd join a motorcycle gang. If I had any friends. This band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. <laughs> home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Now, what to draw? Hey, kids! Free candy. Those guys need to get a room. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. I understand. I understand, really. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. An old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. Help you, miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. I can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Okay. 
again? What do you want, kid? I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Oh, isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Kittens riding tiny mopeds are cute. I'm more like... Red Sonia riding a panzer tank. <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. Girls? Girls kick ass, you idiot. I can take care of myself. My boss will kill me if I let you in. Is your boss your mom? Follow up. Do you live in your boss's basement? You... You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. This is intense! Shut up! Hey, Delia, come. Cute dog. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. What's her name? Delia. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. Don't mess with Damon. Thanks for the memo. Twenty bucks, baby. Twenty bucks? That's robbery. And don't call me baby. Fine. Twenty bucks, thief. That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. this up exactly as I've explained it to you. All right? If you don't have 20 bucks, beat it. Still a dick. No. No, 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 no. Look, we have to set this up exactly as I've explained it to you. All right? If, if... Sweet knife. Just like the one my mom refused to get me for my birthday. Can you talk louder, please? Sketch Central. Sweet dreams, hombre.
300 dock workers laid off, their pensions canceled? God, Prescott's a real tool. get a better view of the action from up above. I can't hear you. Can you talk louder, please? Okay, good. That's exactly... If you don't have 20 bucks, beat it. Still a dick. No. No, 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 no. Look, we have to set this up exactly as I expected to. Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. Shit! No, 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 no! Come on! Thanks for playing, Dick. Oh, yeah! Sweet, sweet victory. That's like 200 bucks. Holy shit, I'm rich. Get up, <laughs> studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm trying to see this damn band. But this place is crazy packed. Hard to get to the stage. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Ha, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Damon Merrick? I see you've heard of him. This is his place. Damon's a friend of mine. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Toss in a dime bag and we'll call it square. Hey, hey! What are you waving around this kind of money here for? You really don't think before you act, do you? Nope. So, where's my pot? No more loans. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. You're a good man, Frank. No. I'm not. Now beat it, Price. You're cramping my style. Where do those stairs go? Uh, up? Real helpful, Frank. I mean, 
Will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I know? Floor above's rotted all to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Fine. I'll see you later. Whatever.
Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Daily rituals are imp Hey Max, hey Dad, another day in paradise, right? Wally, wakey wakey, edgy wakey. Last night, seeing Firewalk live, the skeevy assholes, that girl, was that really Rachel Amber? Smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Wait, what? Who? Terrible. What photo? My I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. Better living through chemistry. Uh, I really should get going. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated.
As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Fun fact. Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. Shit. Where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. How can Mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Ugh, I drank way too much last night. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair is his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. Mom's old engagement ring. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. 
You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. I was sleeping. I didn't get your text until just now. Oh, you make it so hard to trust you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate he him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. 
Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Or it's because we can't afford nice things. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Here they are. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. They better get going. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you.
See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Power. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. How you do anything is how you do everything. Now I need a shower. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> You've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? You can't threaten me. You know how I know? Because you just tried, and fuck you. I can crap bigger than you. Just remember that. Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... your mother... You're breaking her heart. At least she has a heart. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. Doesn't the Constitution say no soldiers quartered in civilian homes without consent? Because for the record, I do not consent. Look, now, in this house, I have my job to do, and so do you. If your job is to fuck up my life, then someone should give you a raise. And the corner fucking office. If you were a man, it's I'd... It's cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you, either. Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. 